friends and welcome back to my channel. It's Teresa here. Today I have a process video for the Celine Studio Creative Team. I'm working with the September 2022 monthly template. This is that template. It's available on the Celine Studio blog. And I'm also working with the Project Mouse Vibes collection. And of course, I will have those both linked below. Thank you so much for joining me. And so what I've done is separated out all of the layers in Photoshop and printed them. Most of them were were printed on the 13 by 19 project uh, paper and photo pa matte photo paper. And then I also, because there were quite a few layers in this template, I also uh, printed a few on eight and a half by 11. I always like to share this part of the process because it is a part of the process after creating your layout and after uh, printing everything. And so this is just my quick method for trimming all of this out. One of the things I really liked about this template was that it gave you the option to include several different photos on the layout. So if you're a person that likes to include lots of photos, this is the template for you. And I used all of the designated photo layers for photos except one. And that one I switched to pattern paper instead and made it a little bit bigger than what the template called for. So of course, keep in mind as you're working with these digital templates that you can absolutely change them up and use them however you like to make it work for the layout that you're creating. The story that I'm telling today is a layout from our 2019 trip to Walt Disney World in Florida. And so I've been working off and on through my Disney album as a whole. It's a whole album devoted to this trip and I'll provide links for you so you can see how that like how that album is coming together. But I also wanted to include layouts from this trip within our kids' albums. And so that's what I'm going to do today. So I think that all of the photos that I've included today were taken from Magic Kingdom. And it, uh, there's one that was taken in the Skyliner. And that was a different day. But uh, what I wanted to show in the photos were the people. And so that's the who, the what, it was a trip to Disney, and the where, we were mostly at Magic Kingdom. So quite a few great castle captures here. And I just felt like this was a great opportunity to uh, create this layout for their albums and get that included in their storytelling, not just in our family storytelling. So I started this layout with uh, the stars background pattern paper. And I felt like that was a nice neutral black and white. And then this blue striped, diagonal striped pattern paper that's the one that was supposed to be the layer that was supposed to be a photo, but I turned it into a pattern paper and made it a little bit bigger so that it would go all the way into that corner. That was just a, a fun little design decision. And then notice how for the third layer, I used the kind of gray pattern paper with a couple of little white stars in the top left and the lower right corner. You don't really see the stars in the lower right corner, but I wanted it to echo that diagonal line that I created with the blue pattern paper. And then to that layer, I added the stitching 
and the digital stamp and also my journaling and then printed it like that, that creates, one, it gave me an opportunity to add more journaling than I might have added had I written it by hand. You can do either or, but I like including digital journaling because sometimes I find that it helps me be a little bit more wordy and a little bit more detail about what I'm writing. And then the template itself called for some embellishments in different places on the layout. And I sort of tweaked that a little bit and I love, this is, this is part of the fun again of digital templates. And I still kept mostly a visual triangle with these embellishments at the, the top above the journaling. Like that little embellishment cluster kind of became a cascade down to the journaling itself. And then I also added this little, this cute little cluster right here at the lower left. And notice how I cut up this little turquoise word strip and kind of made it come down over the background paper a little bit as well. I'm, truth be told, I'm not sure why I did that. I think that was an intuitive design decision but I like it. It's um, it's a uh, something. It's unexpected on the page, and it's kind of fun and helps. Mostly, it helps you lead your eye around the page, and I think that's what I've tried to do with these embellishments. They kind of go in a circle. They they help you go in a circle around the page, and it keeps the photos. Uh, in uninterrupted within that circle. All of the embellishments are sort of off to the side and they, I hope they don't detract <laughs> from the photos themselves because that is the, the photos and the story is always the most important thing. Everything else is just gravy. So speaking of gravy, I also wanted to add a little bit of stamping. I always do that, of course. And so I'm gonna use the LA Studio Magical Memories stamp set and just get a little bit of ink here on the page. This sort of echoes the digital stamps and the stitching that I had added but it also, check this out, gave me an opportunity to stamp a little hidden Mickey here, not so hidden Mickey. <laughs> and that is something that is always fun to do. And this stamp set makes that really easy to do that. And there were just some fun little words, sentiments in this stamp set that I've used time and time again in my Disney layouts. And so this is very easily a go-to collection. The, the Project Mouse Vibes is a go-to collection. It's neutral, it goes with anything that you have, and the Ellie Studio Magical Memory stamp set is also just a go-to stamp set. Uh, both of those products that I highly recommend. Um, so I also, of course, no layout is complete without puffy stickers. I'm sorry that that went off the, off the page a little bit, but hopefully you can sort of get an idea here. I'm just adding some of these puffy hearts, puffy stars, puffy dots, just to add a little bit more pops of color and a little bit more texture and dimension. And that makes it so easy here to get this story told, get a fun layout created, and I'm so happy to share it with you today. Of course, this project will be on the Celine Studio blog with other interpretations of this template, so I will include that link for you below, and it will be on my personal blog as well with uh, detailed product links where they're available and uh, also the 
the other links to our Disney album, our kids' albums projects, just tons of inspiration over at TeresaMoxley.com. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope to see you back here again soon. Bye-bye.